team. They just got a tough matchup later on on winner's side. But for now, into winner's finers, finals. Here we go. Yeah, so away we go. It's already it's hockey off the kickoff. We'll put what's up directly in the lead, a statement from them. Wasting no time. A, a tough kickoff there for Temple. Maybe they weren't expecting the aggressiveness from hockey, but he was able to take advantage of them sleeping in the early seconds. Yes, it was, you know, it's, it's always a tough play to defend against that kickoff goal, but, you know, Temple, they, they'll have some resilience. I don't think they're going to be afraid of being down early as Yummy's attempt there was denied by Nick. Really, really good from them. Now we'll see Hockey mounting another push. His teammate Nick got the demo to clear things up, but just not the best positioning for the ball to get into the net there. So you can see Nick still plastered onto that ball. Is that shot from Yobi is going to go against the top corner? He does pick up the demolition and turns around for a shot, but nobody there. Nick, under some pressure, does clear it away. What's up? Doing a good job of playing solid defense in some stressful situations there. The ball is awfully close, just kind of awkward positioning for some of these players to really turn it into a goal. Yummy looking to refill on some boost now. Yes, this has been still, you know, a very patient game from Temple. You can see it there, just waiting for hockey to dive in and try and give up possession, you know, forcing Nick into the save. Here you go again. It's it's that patient, methodical style, but this was up squad. They're very, very talented individually. And the problem that I see with Temple's game plan, at least with the way they normally like to go, is that, you know, these these guys on the other side are so good, they're going to be able to make the saves and make the stops, you know, over time. I'm not sure how easily that defense will break. Yeah, we've seen Coriol do really well on the defensive side all day, so, you know, he's doing it again. Another save just now as we were talking, and he had a, a great save before that as well, just doing a good job of stopping some of these tough pushes that Wasap is making. But here comes Hockey again, off the ceiling, so close from the crossbar. Oh, almost a goal! There it is, Nick with the score, making it 2-0 for Wasap. This is actually an unbelievable recovery from Yummy. Look at that, the way dash on the goal line to make the save. But it's just not enough. Nick is able to swing back in and put that one the extra inch over the line that it needed. So unfortunate there for Temple. They really made a nice save initially, but the follow-up just not there. Now with the early 2-0 lead, it'll be Wes Up looking to keep it going here in winners finals. Now that we are in winners finals, this is a best of five series. Yes, this will be a best of five from here throughout the tournament, except for the grand finals. That is a great save from Nick. That shot was going into the bottom corner, and he just held that across the line. Oh, we all looking to play some offense now after getting some great saves earlier, playing both sides of the ball. Now needing to get back full on boost in the right spot to make some plays. Way to break that up instead of letting the ball go center. Very nicely done as that shot from Yami is going to turn to side by Hockey. He does get it by one, but cannot get it by two. That is challenged well in the midfield. Hockey was that teammate of Adam in our previous event that we saw playing some great defense. And again, refilling on boost, getting in good position, showing his defensive prowess is Hockey. Yes, these What's Up boys have come to play today. They're certainly unafraid to go for things that are highly skilled and audacious in many regards as Coleo has to dodge the demo there, get away from that. Try and make the clearance, but the pressure from What's Up so strong. Yeah, absolutely, it's tough once. Temple has gotten the ball out of their zone. It gets sent right back by Wasup. Oh, and that is a rude demolition from Nick as Hockey will just drive that right in. 
coil. Unable to get away from that. Nick almost did it blind. He, he did a really nice job of clearing the path for hockey. He just had to dribble his way to the goal. That's all it took. Nicely done by those two players. Oh no, off the kickoff, it's Nick, whose shot's actually saved by Coil, who did a great job of being able to turn around and defend there. But still, it's all what's up all the way here. Just over 30 seconds to play, Temple. They need a lot if they want to get a chance at this game one, but there's the first strike. Coil puts them on the board. That's a step in the right direction. Not much time left for two more goals to tie it up, but it is still possible. It'll be difficult against a team like What's Up, but we'll see if Temple can pull it off. 30 seconds left. They got to send everything to the house at this point as Coyle off the wall trying to get that 50-50 to go his way, but cannot. Cole will get the demo. And Temple tries to transition up a beautiful touch from Hockey there. Hockey looking to set it off the backcourt for his teammate, but Nick not quite in the best position. Clock is ticking down. They don't necessarily need a goal at this point in time. Just looking to close out this game. And they will let that touch the floor. It is What's Up who take game one here of our winner's grand final against Temple University. Man, so 1-0 already for What's Up. I mean... They were a team that was sweeping series after series in today's tournament, and they're they're keeping it going. So we'll see, uh, you know, if Temple can adjust, you know, between game one and game two after taking that loss. You know, they got a goal pretty late there, so they were starting to find some offense, just not enough time. Yeah, and, and that is the issue, I think, that particularly with these two and their play style for Temple, that you know, going this slow, I I think just. The fact of the matter is, I think Hockey and Nick can beat them at their own game. It'll be interesting to see if they continue to stick with this game or if they decide to adjust. Early demo from Nick just to shake things up out of the gate. Hockey looking to push to take advantage of that. Nick with another demo. Nicely done by Nick. Two demos out of the gate to give Hockey a clear path. This team plays so well together. Great communication and great execution. That is so rude from Nick once again. The double demolition onto the same player, hunting him on the spawn, immediately gives what's up the early advantage. And that is, that's a strong statement, you know, going for the physical play and trying to put these players off their game. It is oftentimes the best way to combat a slow play style is simply to demolish them. If they're going to go slow, you can take them off the field for it. Maybe that ignited a spark for Temple. They're looking to be a bit more aggressive now after falling down 1-0 early. There's a demo from Coleo setting up the goal here. Temple tying it up. Yummy stuff, 1-2-3, makes it 1-1. Yes, fighting fire with fire here. Coleo with no regard for human life, just coming straight through, barreling down on the Nick, taking him off the server and the ball into the back of the net. Very nicely done. And game on. In just the first minute, some great Rocket League coming out from both teams. And there it is, Hockey. Another goal within the first minute of game two. Gives them the lead again for Team What's Up. Nice set out from Nick there. Yeah, and I think it was Yummy who missed that boost in the corner, just not able to defend that shot well. And very tough proposition now for Temple still. Trying to come back into this game, but plenty of time to do it. We're not even a minute through gameplay of game two. Hockey looking to stay aggressive. Just a minute into game two. I think they are enjoying their time when they have a more comfortable lead, so they're not ready to let up just yet on offense. Certainly not. As Hockey comes from behind, it gets Coleo on the demolition, so it forces Yummy into the 1v2. Cannot convert. So this could be a dangerous toucher. Yummy's going to be there in the middle, and that's Temple University equalizing. Man, tough spot for the ball to be. I, I'm not sure if Hockey got the best angle on it when he was in the corner. 
he ended up centering the ball for Temple to take advantage of. Nice way to tie it up for them. Yes, the one thing that I'm noticing about this game for both teams is that mistakes are being punished. It's such a high level of gameplay that even the smallest of chances and the smallest of errors can open up the goal. You know, we saw Hockey didn't quite get a touch in the corner there, resulted in the goal. Yummy didn't get the boost on the kickoff, resulted in a goal. It, it's the very, very little things that make the difference at this level. Now it's up to us up to get back into their game after winning game one. They're getting a bit more competition now from Temple here. Yeah, these games have certainly been close. It's not like it's been a blowout in either way. There's no, you know, clear, <clears throat> no clearly better team here. As well, that one's going to require a great save from Cole. And he does get there, picks up the boost as well. Can he transition out? Not in time for Hockey, though, who is now settling up the double touch. Does he get it? Yes, he does. Hockey with a great individual play to put us up in the lead. Beautiful goal here from Hockey. God, that's textbook right there with the double touch. I, I think that even before that, Colio did a good job of recovering from the demo and getting a save earlier, but not quite enough for Temple. Falling down 3-2, but plenty of time to tie it up again. Yes, it can be so demoralizing when you see someone score a goal like that because Colio did a, such a good job on defense, as you mentioned, on that recovery. And then to have that just end up going, you know, right back in front of your net, you know, with the double touch finish as well, makes it very, very difficult as hockey is going to pick this one up. It's going to have a shot attempt, tries to go low, but is denied by Cole. And now the break is on. William will be able to get there in front of hockey. He cannot. Hockey makes a good save. That was beautiful. Nick was overextended after he tried to follow, and now oh, off the oh crossbar is so close. Wow. What's up is being so aggressive and almost getting punished for it, but not quite. They're able to recover in time. And they end up getting a goal for it. It's Nick this time. That possession was incredibly entertaining. The, the, those two players on what's up were making mistakes, but then recovering in the nick of time. No pun intended as Nick scores that goal. Yes, that thing was moving on the pinch when that first came out. But unfortunately, that pinch hole did not go out. I would have freaked had that actually gone into the back of the net. But what's up? Do get the goal anyway. It does give him the two goal advantage as Nick has to turn that one aside as well. And you can see now that the pace of play has definitely changed, right? You know, we could see much faster level of gameplay as Hockey nearly finished that one on his own. Going for a similar double touch that we saw him score earlier in the same game. Hockey is kind of feeling himself. They're getting a little fancy, even though the lead isn't too drastic just yet. They're really showing off their skills. Yes, they are. It's hockey went for the flip reset there, but that one's going to be denied by Colio. And it's who else but hockey coming right through and smashing that one into the top corner. Nicely done. Nick centered it. And I'm not even sure if that could have been stopped if hockey wasn't there, but he just made sure it went in any case, you know, making sure that Nick's pass there was a goal instead of a save in the favor of Temple. As well, here comes another. Hockey is all over the place now, and he is putting game two to bed. A great setup from Nick. We'll open that up. And now on their way to a 2-0 series lead is what's up on the back of hockey with some of his fancy goals, but really the two of those players together are just helping each other out. They complement each other so well. And it's led to a, a strong lead here in game two. Yes, it absolutely has as there goes Hockey again. This is becoming a blowout now. What's up? They're on a roll. Hockey letting us know what's up. He likes dishing it to himself off that backboard, letting us see that tree and that blossom animation with all of his goals. We've been seeing that a lot this game. Now seven goals on the favor of Team What's Up. 
Yes, certainly opening the scoring count is hockey as he goes for the flip reset and it's denied off the line by Cole who had to also dodge a demo from Nick. I thought that was another goal. Cole was, was there at the perfect time. I thought that was going in, but not quite. But now making it 8 2 is hockey. Yes, and this is getting quickly out of hand here for what's up. They are going through and they are terrorizing this Temple team. Man, what's up is really showing why they are considered a top team in today's event. They've taken out a lot of strong teams so far, and now winning game two to make this best of five series go to the potentially deciding game. It's team what's up, hockey and Nick. Great showing from both players. Yes, very, very strong. You know, they just started opening the floodgates right that, that game was actually very close throughout most of the way but towards the latter stages of it it was just goal after goal after goal after goal and a lot of it is individual effort from hockey but i thought nick also did a really good job of setting him up for those plays as well it truly all over the place where what's up and we were talking earlier about how when we were seeing spiky mikey play he was very streaky like once he got a goal going he had momentum and would just make returning goals after returning goal and now we're seeing the same case with hockey he gets one goal in his momentum and then just you know pedal to the metal keeps it going we'll see if he can close it out here in game three and keep that trend continuing we'll see as hockey tries up the flip reset but cannot get it to go, and it's gonna be Yummy who makes the challenge, and with nobody in front of him, that's just a goal, Temple University jumping out on top right away, game three. Nicely done by Yummy, yep. At that time it was, what's up? Just being caught out of position, a bit too aggressive early on here, maybe having a bit too much confidence and not really respecting their team, their, their opponents, uh, and Temple there was able to take advantage. We will see if they can hold that advantage. It is such a long way to go from here. And you know this man, Hockey has something to say about as the flip resets denied by Yummy off the post. Yummy wants to make his presence felt on both ends of the field in game three. They're not ready to be sent to losers just yet. They certainly are not. This tough university team giving everything they got as that one is a great angle from hockey are you kidding settle down that was incredible we've seen him play out the backboard so nicely and even when an opponent gets involved he's able to find the right angle to send it in yes that is just an absolutely brilliant touch from hockey and it's a deserved equalizing goal for what's up all square through 60 seconds Nick sending it over on offense, potentially looking to set up his teammate as hockey's been scoring in bunches so far this series. That mid boost was taken, so hockey forced all the way out there. It's going to allow Temple to perhaps try and hit on the transition, but that shot from Yomi not going to be enough. It is stopped, but now here's a chance potentially, but Cole can't get the touch into the middle. Yomi has to wait. He does go, but can't find an angle on goal pushing it in reverse now is hockey Nick waiting in the background sees his teammate gets demoed but keeps the pressure on is Nick looking to follow his own setup and there's the goal in the corner of the net nicely done by Nick he was lurking and then capitalized on that opportunity yeah really nice from Nick just understanding as you mentioned that his teammate got demolished, so he was able to go ahead and try to make an aggressive play. It worked out for us up there. They have retaken that lead. Plenty of time left now. Just a one goal lead here for us up. Temple has shown they can respond before. So we'll see as Nick dribbles pretty nicely. We'll see if hockey can follow. That's actually a really nice bump there. I believe it may have been Yummy, who got behind the player they're trying to pass that off the backboard. So difficult to score when you're that high with the ball above the opponent's backboard. Just understanding that if he bumps the player away, he can't make the pass out. So smart defense there, but is it enough as Nick's going to just roll this backwards, roll it away from that temple team? 
It was Coriol again with a great save. Nick was trying to avenge the demo on his teammate, but Coriol got back in time. Ooh, that shot a bit too high from Yummy. It might allow What's Up to break out, but Yummy does a good job there of recovering a bit and denies Hockey the additional touch on the ball and the boost as Yummy had a shot there, I think, of scoring, but wasn't quite able to beat his opponent to the touch. Hockey now with his aerial tricks, but good clear from Coriol, still showing he's a strong defensive player. As, oh, that one's just going to go in from downtown. I think Nick may have been running interference there again as Hockey takes the credit for the goal. Now under two minutes left. Goals becoming a bit less and less frequent. It will be a lot for Temple to come back from in order to stay on the winner side of the bracket. And now that Hockey has momentum, we'll see if he keeps it going. We will see if Hockey and Nick can hold out here. A minute and 40 seconds remaining. Or can Temple find a way to get two without conceding one? That's going to be a passing play, and that's going to be a great shot off the post by Yummy. There it is. That's the answer you're looking for, and Temple have given themselves a shot. Plenty of time left here for Temple to tie it back up. They, really great timing for them to get this goal to put them within one, because now they have a bit more wiggle room and, and not as much stress on them to end up tying it. It is still <clears throat> a monumental task ahead of Temple, though. They still have to play perfect defense and try and get one to go on offense against these two players who have terrorized the entirety of the bracket so far today. As Cole trying to establish possession, but is pressured by hockey. It's going to be Yummy who gets the pinch high, and Cole's there, makes a touch, but he gets a little too far away from him. Cole picks up the demolition. As hockey trades one out, so Cole now forced to re-rotate back down, trying to engineer a passing play, a bump play, something. Yummy centering it for his teammate. Can he finish? No. Coyle with a nice save. Yummy looking to get it out of their zone now. It was a great touch there to deny the goal for what's up. That's the kind of touch that you need to stay alive here. Clock is ticking, under 30 seconds left. Temple needs to push the agenda here and get the goal over. And there's Yummy from long range, tying it up with 17 seconds on the clock. It's Yummy stuff for Temple. And there it is, Yummy just barely beats Nick to that touch there. Understanding that Hockey was trying to maintain possession in the corner, couldn't quite do it. Yummy doing an excellent job of reading the play and just getting that by the defender. We have a tie ball game once again. There's still plenty of time in regulation for one of these teams to end it. And there's Coleo getting the 4-3 lead for Temple with only 11 seconds left. This could keep Temple in it when they're down 2-0 in the series. And great understanding from Coleo, knowing that his teammate got demolished on the other end. He was the only person up. Once he gets that touch across, have to go back out and in to score the goal. Very, very smart now. Temple just going to try and see this one out. Five seconds. Looking to get that ball grounded is Temple. Clock is at zero. What's up, Kitty? And there's one! And there's the goal to tie it up. It's Hockey sending it to overtime with no time left on the clock. Temple thought they had it in the bag to take a game in this series, but now we have overtime. Still a chance for both teams to get the victory. That's a heartbreaker there for Temple. They did so well to gain the lead at the end of this game in regulation, but now it's going to be overtime, and this could be problematic already. Oh, but that was yummy stuff, I think, getting up there, making a great save, had to avoid the demo and make the save. Yummy stuff looking to limit his mistakes here, get back on defense, but a oh, tough whoa. placement. Oh, it's Nick this time. Tough, uh, a tough spot for the ball to be. Hockey got it in the right spot there. Bar down for Nick to then follow. Coleal tried to get it out of the zone, but anytime that ball is touched, 
it ends up going in the goal. That is an unreal touch from hockey. Oh my goodness. To get the flip reset, but not only to get it, but